Do you ever have this problem? You try to get a steady shot with your camera, but it is just not working. So you go online searching for a camera slider, but yeah, that is pretty expensive. So I decided to make one myself. So for making this camera slider, I got from an old reprinter this reel and bearing. So after requiring some parts, I got a Fusion 60 and modeled a simple version of my camera slider and started to print all the pieces. And after a few minutes of removing all the parts, I got to uh, assembly everything. So I finished my camera slider, this is still a simple version of it, but it works pretty good. There's just one problem. I need to move it by hand, so if I want to film myself, it is kind of impossible. So I need to use some kind of motor. That's why I chose this one, the 28BIJ48 5V stepper motor. This is a cheap, simple stepper motor. For controlling the motor, I'm gonna use this ULN2003 stepper driver. And for controlling the motor, I'm gonna use this Arduino Nano. Spoilers, I am gonna have later problems with this kind of motor, but for now, I just wired it up and it works. I do reap into some new parts for the camera slider to fit the motor and everything else on it. So I almost done with this camera slide, there is just one problem, it keeps running into itself. To fix that I'm gonna use two of these switches on both sides. I don't wanna connect a wire to the switch because that get all messed up. So I got this idea to send the signal via the rails instead of the wire. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I will try it anyway. So after connecting the switches to the rail, I connected a voltmeter to it and it works. Now I'm almost done. Only thing what I have to do, build some kind of box for all these wires and boards. So after building a box for the wires, where I have buttons and other things, there's just one problem. It doesn't fit. But anyways, I uh, got to coding. So after coding it and uploading to the board, we got now a start button, a back for and a home button, and also a speed controller. The code isn't perfect yet, it has a lot of bugs, but it works for now. So I just hit the start button and it begin moving, and now I also can control the speed. And as you now see, it will stop, and if I hit the home button again, it will go back. But sometimes it does this. There's still one motor left, and that's the back and forth motor. That literally means it will go back and forth. First, I was gonna try to make a time blitz for my printer while it was moving. But it didn't work at all. I set the motor to slow speed, but still, it was too fast. And so, I got this footage. So, then I tried just, instead of making a time lapse, just film it. And that works a lot better. But then, I came a problem with the scan motor. It was getting so hot, it melted the plastic around it. And also one of the gears. So adding the motor to the camera slider wasn't the best idea because I used the wrong motor, I think. So I need to fix that problem. But for now, I'm just going to use my hands. 
And if you like this video, maybe subscribe. And if you have an idea what kind of motor I should use, comment down below.